Motorama is a car show for Pixar employees that I started about 10 years ago. But it's more than a car show. It's a yearly gathering of Pixar car culture. That's good. There are a bunch of people at Pixar who really love cars, and to get to make a movie about what you love is just fantastic. People here are somewhat sentimental people, and I think that same attention to detail that goes into maintaining these old things goes into creating stories that have sentimentality and have a high attention to detail. There's a lot of love put into the cars, you know. Everything is special, even if it's a gremlin sitting there, you know, because it's something that you don't get to see every day, and it's priceless to us, you know. I think having the employees bring their special cars in really kind of adds to the flair of the show. I probably have owned 40 or 50 cars and motorcycles at this point, easily, easily. Somewhere around 115, 120 vehicles. 20 cars, I would say? Um, I don't know, I think, I think I've had 20 Alfa Romeos since in the last <laughs> five years, so. One of the rules of Motorama is you can't bring the same car two years in a row. So last year I brought my 57 Pontiac Safari, so this year I thought, mix it up a little bit, I'll bring my 29 Model A Roadster. In this year's Motorama, we're going to have uh, the car we're sitting on, a 1972 Fiat Sport Sedan. It was originally a four-cylinder 1.4 liter, but we just put a twin cam 1.8 in it, so it's ever so slightly faster now. A little bit faster. I love it because it's so square. It's like if a kid drew a drawing of a car, it's just like, uh, 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 uh. It's totally old man and not super fast looking, but at the same time, I love that. This is my grandpa's old truck, a 61 Chevy Suburban. He got it in 62, and uh, he, he can't drive it anymore, so he just gave it to me. And Jay's helped me, you know, put it back. I tried to even match the old color he had. This is the, I, I grew up in this truck, so I'm glad it's still in the family. This is her debut today, so I'm very proud of it. The story is my parents bought this car in 1967 on their honeymoon in Germany. And they drove it all around Europe and then had it shipped back. And this is the only car I knew growing up. This is, we've had it my entire lifetime. So uh, my dad passed away in 97 and the car sat kind of mothballed for years and years. And I saved money and I finally had the exterior restored and the front seats done. But everything else that you see inside, with the exception of the curtains, is all original. The car I'm bringing to Motorama this year is my 1952 Jaguar XK120. Twice in my life that I've had, it was love at first sight. One, first time meeting Nancy, my wife, and two, seeing this car for the first time. I have a 1934 Ford sedan. It's the best car, shiniest car we own, probably not the best maybe. And Scott's been on me, oh, bring it to the show, Dad. Where do you want me to put this thing? Park in one of these spots along here if you can. Uh. I'm a story artist on Cars 2 currently. For us, I think car culture is really kind of a family affair. When I was growing up, I'd watch him working on this car. You know, it was something that I always wanted to be able to help with. Now that I'm big enough, I kind of forced him into teaching me. This piece has to go here. Yeah. When we get it over there, I want to weld it in the car. This is yeah. a father-son project, which we never really did when he was little. This is more the journey than the destination. Yeah. And we're not the only ones doing this at Pixar. There's a lot of guys that have their own, you know, very specific cars that they've been working on for a long time. It's about building something unique and a piece of art, almost a piece of history. said good design is good design no matter what. It can be art, it could be a car. It doesn't have to necessarily be fine art to be something beautiful, artistic, or to have great design. Classic cars are rolling pieces of art. It literally is a beautiful design on wheels.
people can appreciate the cars at Motorama at a lot of different levels. If you're a serious gearhead, you can look at a car and know exactly what that is and how many were built and how rare it is. But somebody else can walk by and go, I love that green car. For me, the Motorama is a chance to experience vehicles that don't occur naturally. You know, they're very specific one-off sort of vehicles. Starting around 2005, we started making friends with a lot of the manufacturers in the car industry because they knew we were making the movie Cars. And when I told them I put on a show at Pixar, a car show, they said, well, what can we bring? One of the cars that we're getting this year for the Motorama is coming from Bentley. They're bringing a Continental Super Sports Coupe. We have Aston Martin bringing the new Vantage V12. General Motors is bringing the Stingray concept from a few years ago and another concept called the Converge, which was an electric Cadillac. What's neat about the manufactured cars being there is that they're their own separate segment. There's no hard sell, there's no salesperson, there's no brochures being handed out. The cars are just there to be appreciated. We have another thing called Commuter Alley, which we take all the hybrid and alternative energy vehicles and put them down there. Honda brought a fuel cell car this year. We had Zap bring an all electric car. We had the Teslas before the Teslas were available to the public. So we get a lot of really cool green cars too. Motorama is special for the people who don't know this world, you know, and, and they get to feel a part of it for the day. It's Jay Ward's subterfuge to get more people at Pixar into old cars. A lot of employees tell me it's their favorite event of the year. I think it's just a fun day. It's a fun atmosphere to enjoy these classic cars.